You might think you've seen realistic robots before, but imagine one looking right at you. Its gaze is steady, almost like it has a soul. It leans in with a strange, warm feeling. The robot's eyes don't just look, they seem to study you, shining with a spark that feels alive. Then it smiles. The smile isn't stiff or fake, it's smooth, like someone you know. For a moment, you forget it's not a person. You might even feel your brain tricking you into thinking you're sharing a real moment. This isn't a scene from a sci-fi movie. It's real life, caught on camera, and the video has amazed and unsettled millions online. Today, we're taking a closer look at a new robot that's changing how we think about machines. Millions of people have already seen its impressive realism. But what's the technology behind this incredible robot? How exactly does it manage to seem so lifelike? A head form was started in 2024 by robotics expert Yu Hang Hu. It is not a normal startup. It comes from years of curiosity and study. Hu wanted to blur the line between humans and machines. While he was at Columbia University, he did more than attend classes. He spent hours asking one big question. Can robots really understand feelings and learn like people do? He built early prototypes and tested them. He watched how humans react to small facial cues. He even tried emotional models to see if robots could copy those reactions. All of that work became the base for a head form. The company's mission is simple. Make robots that don't just respond, but actually show emotion. That mission has pushed robotics forward. Now it's getting attention from tech fans, investors, and anyone wondering what the future of human-robot interaction might look like. The robot everyone's talking about is a head form's real elf. In a short video that went viral with over 100 million views, Real Elf slowly woke up. It blinked its eyes, then opened them wide like it was waking from sleep. It gave a soft, natural smile that shocked people watching. It looked so real that one viewer joked, this robot smiles better than I do in Zoom meetings. People laughed, but they were also amazed. The usual uncanny valley feeling, the creepiness you feel when something almost looks human but doesn't seemed to vanish. Viewers didn't just watch a machine move, they felt like they were sharing a moment with something alive. Many even said it felt like the robot had a bit of a personality, which made them want to see more. But why would someone want a robot to have such a realistic face? The answer is simple, human connection. Robots with faces that can express emotions like ours make interactions feel natural and friendly. Small gestures like blinking, smiling, or slightly tilting their heads make robots more relatable. This can be very important in hospitals, schools, and customer service, where trust and comfort matter a lot. Imagine a robot greeting patients warmly at a hospital entrance, or a classroom robot encouraging students who need extra support. Realistic emotional expressions can truly transform these interactions. A friendly smile from a robot could calm someone who feels nervous, a quick head tilt or a soft blink could make a robot seem polite instead of cold. These little moments can build trust fast. People might even talk more openly to a robot that looks kind and present. It shows how much power a single expression can have, even when it comes from a machine. Interested so far? Make sure to subscribe to follow our journey into the amazing world of robotics. So how does a head form make real elf seem so lifelike? Let's explore the impressive technology behind it. First, Real Elf has a face made from soft synthetic skin. It is powered by up to 30 tiny motors that act like facial muscles. Each motor is connected to a different part of the face. Some move the eyebrows, others move the corners of the mouth. A few even adjust how the eyelids blink. Together, they control tiny movements, letting Real Elf blink, smile a little, raise its eyebrows, and tilt its head in a natural way, just like we do. The engineers made the synthetic skin very carefully. It is stretchy and smooth, so it moves when the motors pull it. It looks and feels close to real human skin, with texture and a slight shine. When the light hits it, the skin even reflects a bit, which makes the illusion stronger. Up close, you might see the tiny creases and folds, like on a real face. These details make the robot's expression smoother and more believable. The result is a face that doesn't look fake or stiff. It looks alive. Second, unlike most robots that use preset movements, Real Elf learns on its own. It doesn't just repeat commands. It actually watches itself in action. It studies how its own face moves. Then it tries again, a little smoother each time. 
Slowly, it gets better and better at making expressions. Over time, it looks less like a machine and more like a person. This type of learning is a lot like how humans practice. We get better at smiling, talking, or showing emotion because we practice too. Real Elf does the same thing, but with wires and code instead of muscles. It also listens to feedback from sensors and cameras. If something looks wrong, it can fix it. If it needs a new movement, it can learn one. That means the robot doesn't stay the same. It improves every day. It becomes more natural, more believable, and easier for people to connect with, almost like it's growing up in front of us. Lastly, a head form created something called the Emotional Foundation Model. This is an advanced AI that notices and responds to human emotions. It is like the robot's brain for feelings. The AI listens to voices and hears if someone sounds happy, tired, or upset. It also studies faces, catching small changes like a raised eyebrow or a frown. It even pays attention to body language, like a nod or a shrug. Then it mixes all that information with what's happening around it to decide how to react. The smile we saw in the viral video? That wasn't just a random twitch, it was a choice. The robot decided to smile because it sensed the moment called for it. That made the smile feel warm and real. This AI can do more than smile. It can offer comfort when someone feels sad. It can look calm and steady if someone feels nervous. It can be friendly and welcoming during casual talks. Step by step, this emotional sense makes real elf seem less like a machine and more like a companion. These three features, realistic hardware, self-learning abilities, and emotional intelligence, set a head form apart from other robots. Let's quickly compare Real Elf to some other famous robots to see just how far technology has come. Sophia from Hansen Robotics was groundbreaking a few years ago, but now she seems stiff compared to Real Elf's smooth expressions. Sophia's face could smile and move, and it amazed people when she first appeared. But her range of movement was limited, and many of her smiles looked forced. Her eyes didn't always match her expressions, and her face sometimes felt frozen. On the other hand, a mecha by Engineered Arts is very expressive. A mecha can raise its eyebrows, tilt its head, and react in clever ways. But it was designed to look mechanical on purpose. Its gray skin and robot-like features avoid the uncanny valley, that strange feeling we get when something looks too close to human but not quite right. A mecha is expressive, but it still looks like a machine, and you never forget it's a robot. A head form takes a very different path. It fully embraces human-like appearance. Real Elf's face is soft, skin-colored, and full of tiny details. The expressions are not only smooth, they feel alive. When Real Elf smiles, you see its eyes join in, making the moment feel real. This makes people react in a new way. They connect to Real Elf faster. Some viewers even said it felt like looking at a new friend instead of a machine. By aiming for full realism, a head form creates deeper emotional bonds. The robot doesn't just copy a face. It creates moments that feel almost human. That choice sets it apart from older robots and shows how far the technology has come. Think about the potential. Robots helping elderly people feel less lonely, tutors understanding students' feelings and adjusting their teaching, or customer service robots making interactions warmer and friendlier. In healthcare settings, Real Elf could provide emotional support and companionship for elderly or isolated patients. In education, these robots could recognize when students are struggling or frustrated and offer extra help in ways that feel supportive and genuine. In customer service, realistic robots could turn a routine interaction into something that feels truly personalized and engaging. But this new technology also raises important ethical questions. If robots can mimic our emotions so well, what does it mean to be uniquely human? Could we form emotional bonds with robots? And if we do, what does that say about our relationships with machines? These questions remind us that while technology can enhance our lives, we must also consider the impact it could have on our understanding of what it means to be human. Real Elf isn't just a cool gadget. It marks a turning point in how humans interact with robots. We're entering a new era where robot interactions could become just as meaningful as interactions with other humans. This isn't just about technological progress. It's about reshaping the way we connect with machines and understanding the role they'll play in our daily lives. The future isn't far away. It's right here, smiling at us warmly, quietly asking, are you ready?